And then how long did it take for him to find knowledge about it? Oh, no, that it was immediate. Yeah. So you called him immediately. I want to put a reference around it. immediately. Like what? The next day? No, like that day, that night. So you, 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 you slept with this guy and then you called your husband up and told him. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, Lord. So I'm not with nobody, cause I don't want to hurt nobody. Did it over text, it didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you want to be somebody, even if you got to leave somebody. Guys, get ready. Were you literally waiting on him since you believed that that was going to be your husband? I did not wait on him. No. Okay. Okay, so let me just give you a backstory on this first clip. Prior to them getting married, Keith had to go off to school. He was a college football player, and they were together. They were not married at the time. They were in a relationship. However, when he was gone, Latarius Whiffle asked her, did you wait for him since you thought that this was your husband? She said, no. <laughs> so let me go back so you guys can hear that once again. Here we go. You said uh, when he went off to school, were you literally waiting on him since you believed that that was going to be your husband? I did not wait on him. No. She didn't wait. Okay. No. I, I, I was so angry with him. I decided to move on myself. And then going. So, again, she decided to move on herself. And this is not me saying it. Just listen to her words, guys. Again. This is before they got married, and this was her behavior before they said, I do. And through other relationships, it was really terrible. <laughs> Honestly, like, why did you have to leave? Because because you don't put me out here yeah, with, these, with but... these savages out here. <laughs> Look what you did to me, Keith. <laughs> so she's asking, why did you have to leave? The brother was going to college to go play ball. And she was she kind of resented him for leaving. So in order to clear her mind, she decided to get into other relationships. What is that term that we use in these spaces? Riding the, the CC? <laughs> I think Coach Greg Adams says that a lot. You rolled the cock carousel. So shout out to Coach Greg Adams. But yeah, riding the CC. So she decided while you're gone, I'm going to entertain these other men and get into these other relationships. So let's continue. <laughs> Why did you? Yeah, but it's not his fault. I had deep deep things going on inside of me I, <laughs> I had deep deep things going on inside of me i needed to man <laughs> i had to put that in there twice because her choice of words her saying i had deep deep things going on inside of me pause <laughs> lord have mercy <laughs> so let's continue she said that oh my heart and soul. Let's go back. Let's hear that again. It's not his fault. I had <laughs> deep, deep things going on inside of me. I, I had <laughs> deep, deep things going on inside of me. I need oh, my goodness. Just hearing it again. Oh, my heart. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Needed to get through and going through different people the love that i was she said going through different people i don't know if she just meant men are both men and women and that's why i showed you guys a video beforehand because it seems like she's struggling at watching women twerk on social media so she has to call on her faith so jesus in fact set me free i can't take any credit whatsoever for what he did for me one thing i did pray was a Get the thoughts out of my head, creating me a clean heart, renew a right spirit within me. That is still like one of my favorite prayers to pray today and will forever be prayed. And another thing was fasting and prayer and submitting my lustful desires to the Lord Jesus Christ, allowing him to take lordship over these things while practicing self-control um, and not watching pornography um, and an all view of women um, like posts today that have women shaking their butts and things like that swipe or block um don't want to see it don't do it it's not worth it because the enemy can use that at an open door to get you to lust and to try to get you to revert 
especially if you're not strong in Christ. He can't do that to me now, but I'm just saying. So who knows? She may have been sneaking in with both men and women. I'm not a therapist, but it seems like she's struggling with suppressing her sexuality and her sexual needs. So let's continue. Looking for it, it really, it was him the whole time. It was just him the whole time. It was him the whole time. Mm -hmm. All right. What do y'all think about her explanation in regards to, you know, before they were married? She decided to see other people while he was off to college doing his football thing. And she said she went through a lot of relationships. She's seen a lot of people. So that means that she was pretty much on that CC. You rolled the cock carousel. After she got done riding the CC, she started to realize that, hey, this isn't right. This is my husband over there. So I need to, you know, make sure I, I, I wait for him to get back so we can get married. Okay, so let's continue. But then infidelity reared his ugly head into y'all's marriage. This is Raven Hartley explaining why and how she cheated. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. Um, how did that happen, Raven? So he was in California yep. for school. And if y'all didn't hear that, he was in California for school. I'm not going to stop it too much. Fair use, fair use. Just wanted to be clear. He was in California. She was in, I believe, Las Vegas, Nevada. So here we go. And um, we had a horrible argument. I, we honestly, every time we argued, it was always about his mom or his family. And um, because of something that I saw or how I felt, you know, I didn't necessarily know how to uh, express to him to the point to where he could understand exactly how I felt. Um, so one night there was an argument about a situation and that changed everything. Um, I had immediately just checked out. I was just done. So they had an argument and she was like, you know, I checked out. I'm just done. At this time, they are married. Right. So let's continue. I didn't even care if we were married, if we were together anymore. Um, Because it, it, it just felt like it was just never going to stop. Like it, it was like, will you please just get it? But I decided, you know, that's fine. I, I went back to Vegas um, and... I had just had a, a job. I just got a new job. And it was this guy. He appeared as a friend. You know? She said there was this guy. He just appeared as a friend. Ladies, I hope you understand why guys are starting to leave y'all asses when you have all these male friends around you. Because we know how these things play out. A shoulder to cry on becomes a weenie to ride on. So when y'all saying all this foolery about, oh, he's just my friend. That's like my brother. We know what that means. And I'm uh, and I'm starting to see a lot of men leaving relationships when women do dumb stuff like that. It was just one video recently where this woman did a whole TikTok explaining that her boyfriend left her because she went to a concert with her best friend, her brother, and she put on the TikTok little video that they did love him so bad i got broken up with because i posted this video on my story okay broken up with is dramatic as i was only talking to him for three weeks and we went on one date but after i posted that story he was so annoyed with me he basically told me that he doesn't do god best friends um with the girls that he's speaking to and if he's pursuing someone he just doesn't really respect the fact that I'm, you know, I have a male in my life that I love real bad. Now, some of you may be as confused as me because this is literally my best friend of six years. He's like my brother at this point, and I would never even look at him a certain way. But this guy was serious, and he was not letting up on this boundary that he had placed. So the only thing I could do was respect it. I explained to him what the situation was, that it was not like that, but he wasn't hearing it, so he cut me off. So now I'm just sitting here like, damn, was it really that deep? Her boyfriend saw it, 
and he left her ass. And I applauded him for it. Have your boundaries. So this is a great example of what men are saying, ladies. So please pay attention. And guys, if you are in the situation where you hear a woman talking all this foolery about, this is just my brother. He liked my brother. I'm telling you right now, something will go down. Listen to this young lady. Let's continue. Listen, he would, you know, make me laugh. And it was everything that I wasn't getting at that time. And sure enough, it led to infidelity. Mm. So that's how it happened. They was friends. She said he he made me laugh. And mind you, Keith, he didn't even do anything. She was mad at the argument they had about his mother. And that's what drove her to cheat. Lord. So this dude appeared like David Copperfield, Copperfield out of the blue. <laughs> And he got to sneak in, got them cheeks. But that's not even the worst part, guys. Ladies, too. Listen to how he found out and when he found out. Lord have mercy. And then how long did it take for him to find knowledge about it? Oh, no, that it was immediate. Yeah. Because it, it was convicting. Like, I, I literally got, I was convicted. Like, I was like, I cannot hold that. Like I called him immediately and we were, yeah, we were both in tears. Like I, so you called him immediately. I want to put a reference around it. immediately. Like what the next day? No, like that day, oh. that night. So you, 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 you slept with this guy and then you called your husband up and told him. Yeah. That's powerful. Oh my God. Imagine. She just got piped down. And the first thing that she does is call her husband. Oh. 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 Oh, Lord. That don't hurt. That, <laughs> she literally got out the bed with his brother and called her husband the same day. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and make sure you click that link, get you some Tease Hanley, and support the Media Man YouTube channel, and also support Tease Hanley.